After using NCSIML to troubleshoot a new CNC program, further solidify the process by using OptiTool and OptiPower to avoid tool breakages during the initial machine prove-out. First, define the cut analysis parameters, then select the tool sequences to include, and finally, define the stock material type and material designation to calculate the power, torque, and axial force of the spindle. After computing, the report window provides information about the cutting conditions and the maximum values found during the analyzation. It also includes data such as the power, torque, cutting force, ship thickness, feed per tooth, and many more. Use the graphing window to observe an overview of the parameter's evolution. Displayed here is the power output required during the roughing toolpath. Notice that there are some abnormal spikes. Zooming in on the curve displays the active program line in question. These sudden increases in power can damage the tool and can decrease its lifespan or even break it. To eliminate these spikes, perform a cutting conditions optimization. Select the desired tool pass and define the strategic parameters. Limit the power consumption to 5 kilowatts for the process. Since NCSIMO will reduce the feed rate during the spikes, it's also advantageous to define a minimum feed per tooth to avoid being under the minimum chip thickness. During this computation, NCSIMO also completes an air cutting optimization, defines the modified approach and retract distances, and selects the new maximum feed rate for any motion outside of the material. Use the optimized graph window to analyze the effect of this optimization. First, look at the new feed rate and notice the many changes that have occurred in the toolpath. Next, look at the power consumption curve. It is now capped at 5 kilowatts. To analyze the feed rate consumption, navigate to the bottom right of the 3D window and the feed rate reduction to 1390 millimeters per minute can be viewed. Selecting the compare mode activates a side-by-side -side view of the initial and optimized toolpaths. The feed rate for this air cutting motion has been increased to 6,000 from the originally programmed 2,540. Details on cycle time computation for the complete program and for each sequence can be found in the report window. The speed gained outside of material during the air cutting optimization more than compensated for the time lost by safely reducing the power consumption of the machine and ultimately resulted in a slight cycle time reduction. Lastly, generate the new G-code file using the save icon. During this computation, NCSIMO writes the new program, duplicates the current simulation process, decodes the optimized program, compares the trajectories, and launches a new simulation to further verify that the rewritten G-code is correct. A checklist outlining these operations appears after computation, and a text file comparison is launched automatically. Ultimately, by utilizing OptiPower and OptiTool, the very first prove-out at the machine can be completed without the risk of tool breakage.